and finally, we get to the main event, uh, light heavyweight championship between John Jones and Anthony Smith. And obviously, John Jones is going to be a big favorite in this fight, right? He's ruled the light heavyweight the div- division, I mean, since he was, what, 22 years old? Hasn't been beaten. He's never been defeated, let's say that. If, you know, if he technically has a loss on his record, he's never been beaten. Um, but he's fighting number three ranked Anthony Smith, who is 31 and 13. Represents a ton of experience. You know, he just beat Vulcan Ozdemir in a really gritty fight. Knocked out Shogun before that. Knocked out Rashad Evans before that. So, uh, you know, he's got some good wins at light heavyweight, but the problem with those wins is that Rashad Evans and fucking Shogun are obviously a little bit older. Well, you say that, and then you look at Shogun's fight against Tyson Pedro, who I had a lot of confidence in. You know, I think he's promising. I think he's got good movement. He's, you know, and Shogun fucking shut him down i don't know if pedro was starstruck or he just got completely outclassed or what the fuck happened but shogun's no joke and anthony smith knocked him out so uh you know but these are guys on the latter ends of their career they're not they're not young anymore you know they're not going to be winning titles anytime soon realistically and uh the the an impressive win is vulcan ozdemir considering like the terror he was on and everything and he was able to survive some adversity uh early in the fight and then come back to win he got a rear naked choke on him in the third round and that locked up, you know, this title fight against John Jones, where, I mean, y- you got a guy who is one of the most controversial figures in UFC history, in sports history, history, honestly. I mean, I don't think there's ever been, maybe, maybe, if you guys have examples of this, give me, because I'm not as sports savvy, but... I can't think of another example in sports where you've got someone who legitimately might be the greatest of all time. And they, he's kind of, he's kind of lucky in a way because he still gets to fight sometimes. Like he can go through a process and still fight and fighting's kind of one of those things where like, you know, you can get like, like like things are only judged one fight at a time. Whereas like if you're not a sports star in another, in another sport, you know, you might have, an entire season that you missed, but within that season, like if it's baseball, you missed 160 games. Like that's a lot of time. Whereas with fighting, like it's not uncommon to see guys miss a year for injury or something and then fight again. So if you take a suspension for a year, it's not that big of a deal. So I guess it's not exactly the same situation, but I don't know if there's ever been anyone in history with so much talent. Like John might legitimately be the best ever at his sport. And see him you know have so many issues outside of the octagon it's uh it's bizarre and obviously you hear guys like joe rogan talk about this all the time but it plays into like who he is right like it he's he's reckless and it shows and is fighting a little bit but it works and it kind of makes him great i think it kind of makes him obsessed with the sport you know he's 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 wild as people describe him all the time you know he's fucking crazy but he's also he's extremely good like and that seems like such an obvious statement but if you look at the way that he fights people in the like the dc fight the se- the second dc fight where he knocked him out and it got overturned into a no contest the way he's just beating up the body over and over and over and then you know kicks him in the head after dc starts dropping his hands to defend the body shot it's fucking brilliant. And I mean, you're doing against, you're not doing that against some fucking Joe Schmo. You're doing it against Daniel Cormier, who's right now the current heavyweight champion of the world. Uh, and then you look at, you know, his first fight against Gustafson. I think he went into it, taking him lightly, thinking that he couldn't be beat. He talks about it. I, I believe him. I think he went into that fight, not fully prepared and not taking Gustafson as seriously as he should have. But in the second fight, you see John and I utilizing a lot of kicks to establish range and just keeping John or keeping Gustafson at bay. You know, he fought a completely different fight, and Gustafson fought the same fight. He was trying to box him, and in the first fight, John was engaging in those boxing exchanges, and in the second fight, he wasn't. That was the difference. And then, when you're frustrating someone, you can usually lure them into doing. You know, they get a little more aggressive because they're trying to hit you with things and they're getting frustrated. They're trying to figure out what's working, and then he took him down. And once he took him down. It wasn't even fucking close. I mean, he secured position, got on top, and just dominated him. I mean, there was nowhere for Gustafson to fucking go. So, you know, you're talking about the greatest fighter of all time, in my opinion. 
I always say like it's kind of confusing because I consider if you're talking about the title of the goat, I think about like GSP and DC because they've been such great role models for the sport and accomplished like so much. But as far as pure fighting skill, not taking reputation or anything else into consideration, I think John is the best ever do it by maybe not a wide margin, but I think he's the best. I really do. I I, I think it's going to be a lot for Smith to overcome and he could do it. And he's going to be relying on kind of like, he's got a little bit of a different fighting style. It's a little bit unorthodox and it is explosive. But in my opinion, if you're relying on catching John Jones to win the fight, it's, it's probably not going to be enough. Just being on, I think John's too good everywhere. You got to remember that he can take this fight to the ground if he wants to, you know, he's probably going to, he's probably going to be able to dominate almost every position and uh, if Anthony Smith is, if Anthony Smith's like relying on, you know, maybe closing some space and catching John with something, I, I don't know if that is his game plan. I'm not saying that's the only thing he can do, but John is like maybe the best in the world at everything. Like you see, you would see him throughout his career put guys in situations where they were known for being like great at, like Cheryl Sonnen took him down, uh, Glover Teixeira. Dirty boxed him. I mean, he's he's he does that to people. Like he's like, oh, you're good at this. Well, I I'm better at it. You know. So <sighs> Anthony Smith brings on doubt, like undeniable knockout power to this fight. But I just don't think it's going to be enough to overcome. And I think John's going to get him out of there in like probably like the second or third round. <laughs>